I'm Bob Hoffman. You know, people who own motorcycles will tell you there is something freeing about being on a bike. This is Rose yeah. Cooper, and what she's doing on her motorcycle makes her this week's good neighbor. Is that love? Rose Jongmi Cooper loves nothing more than to ride her motorcycle while singing at the top of her lungs. If you drive around mid-Michigan, you've probably seen her. Rose says, especially during the summer months, she likes nothing more than to get on her motorcycle and take a ride. Often, she'll have friends join her. I feel just as open this, and I express it that way. And if somebody sees that and their day is made, if they smile, if they laugh, if they like, what's wrong with her? No matter how they experience it, if they ex remember it enough to come back and say, hey, I experienced your experience in life and it did something for me today, that's so fulfilling. And Rose is helping a lot of people smile. She's well known, especially around Lansing. Lori Hurst says whenever she sees Rose, her day is brightened. It just brings joy when you're outside and listening to somebody who's actually having fun and, you know, enjoying their own life. You just love that. I love to see that. Rose says a couple of years ago, she was taking her grandson, Kevin, for a ride, and he noticed something she didn't. Uh, we went past, uh, was it Meyer on, the, on yeah, South Pennsylvania? Yeah, like, uh, someone under the trees. There was somebody under the trees, and he saw him. What did you tell me to do? Pull over. Yep, made me pull over. I was kind of scared because this was the first time I had done it and I didn't know how to approach him. And um, I told him to stay on the bike. He was, we were on the trike, gave me the water, gave me the food. I went out and asked, did they want it? They said, yeah, and he gave me the strength and the courage to do it. Rose says ever since that day with her grandson, Kevin, she packs her bike with water and granola bars and hands them out all over town. To have something and not try to give somebody something, just feels like selfishness to me. When I have the ability, I'm, I'm retired, I can get water, I can get granola bars. As long as I have gas in this car, bike and I'm already going out anyway, why not? Not only is she helping people that may be in dire straits, but if you're a delivery person and you're sweating on a day like today, <laughs> when it's 90 something degrees, she's gonna hand you a frozen water for you to have for later, and then a water that you can have for now and a snack to help pep you up. Rose says her grandson, Kevin, is always inspiring her to help others. He calls me, he texts me, as you know, he texts me and say, hey, there's somebody homeless on this street. In case you want to go give them something, it's, it's not like a question, in case you want. He says in case, but what he's telling me is get your butt out there and go give them some. And I respond to that because if I want him to be a good citizen of the world, I have to be one too. And so it's, it's him that's making me a better person and I'm trying my hardest to be the person that he believes I am. Rose Jungmi Cooper, we want to say thank you for bringing joy to so many people by authentically singing at the top of your lungs and giving out cold water and snacks while riding your motorcycle. You're this week's Good Neighbor.